I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonts and Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke, I'm the sewing specialist with Fonts and Porter. In this tutorial, we will show you how to put together the quilt called Scrappy Shine. This is a fun quilt because it's made with all squares and rectangles, mm -hmm. but when you look at it, you see stars. Exactly, it's stars kind of really, everywhere. This is a lot of the diagonal seams piecing technique. So this quilt is made from assorted five inch squares. You need 105 of them. And you're going to separate them into two groups. Divide 56 group. of them are medium to dark, 49 are light to medium. So the ones that are light to medium like this, you would cut in half. So you have two, two and a half by five inch rectangles. And then the dark ones you just leave whole. Okay. So we're ready for diagonal seams piecing. Mm -hmm. We're going to work with those, those pieces, those five inch squares that we split in half. And we're going to create blocks that look like these two. Those are just the only two blocks we're going to make. So this little like dot fabric is the setting fabric and it's constant throughout the quilt. Mm -hmm. So we have some one and a half inch squares here and I'm going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on each one of those. Mm -hmm. So you're ready for piecing. Now you want to be careful to put that on the right way. Exactly. Because if I were to lay the uh, square on here and then sew on this line, it would be sewing You'd into be <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> You'd be in trouble there in a minute. So make sure that you place it correctly. We want to basically replace this corner of fabric underneath and it's going to flip out like this. Sometimes that second peak is a good thing to do before we take it to the so needle. You want a quick stitch on that sewing okay. line. Gonna drop it and we're gonna stitch right on the on the marked line across the little block. So this is a way to get more accurate patchwork instead of cutting those tiny little uh, triangles and then having to oh. cut no, I would not do that. shaped pieces. <laughs> that would not be fun. So this no. is a much easier way. So you're gonna stitch across on the line you drew. I'm just gonna finger it. press it and you can start to already see that this block then is Looks like similar to that. And this is a good test. If those corners don't match up, you've done something out. wrong. Okay. okay. So now you would trim that. Exactly. You can use a rotary cutter, but this is such a short little piece. I can come in here, make sure you don't snip the piece underneath. And why do I say that? Because I've actually cut it away before. Didn't want that to happen. So we've got that. We've got the little piece we could take away. Now you would do the same thing. Same process over here side. to make these side units. You need 26 of those. 26, okay. And then you're going to do the same technique on all four corners to make oh, the yeah. sashing units. And you need 71 of those. And you'll see that the piece with the two triangles is in the outer edge of the quilt. The one with four is in the interior. And right. it does a wonderful thing to make a, uh, all right, so a secondary design. So you can sort of see where those units are ending up here. So you've got the whole squares, you've got side units around the mm -hmm. outer edge. Two little triangles, and one over there. Mm. These are two and a half inch but. squares of, of that dot fabric. And so what you're going to do is Create join rows. your blocks into horizontal rows, and then you'll have a sashing row. Wide row, narrow row. And then you can see when you Join them all together. Those all together. All those little triangles match up with those little cornerstones and you get these pop-up stars. And that's where your stars are between blocks. Thanks for joining us today. To get the pattern for this quilt, go to shopfonsandporter.com slash quiltingquickly. And to see more videos like this one, go to video.fonsandporter.com.